Hey guys, it's Shed here. Welcome back to another video. Hey, if it ain't Shed, why you want to talk? Just drop a like and drop a comment and subscribe. I can't forget about you. Make sure you watch her vids with all your friends. All she want to do is see our life and smile. So you can't miss out on it. Shed, Lou, Ben, I watch it. Shed, Lou, I watch it on the TV. I watch it all on my phone. Can't wait till I go get home to see the notification. Shed, Lou, Ben. So y'all, um, it's Sunday right now and I decided that I want to just have like a self-care day and a real one, like not like getting my hair done and my lashes done. That's stuff that like makes me feel cute for sure. That's definitely a part of a self-care day, but I really want to take care of my body and everything because I don't know y'all lately I've been like feeling well not lately but I don't know y'all I just been I was just laying in bed and I'm just thinking like really this has to do with I don't know but I'm just laying in bed and I'm just thinking like when was the like you've never had a massage like you've never booked a massage you never just really sat and got like your body like pampered or anything like that. Like, you know, I never actually did that. And the other day, one of my friends asked me like, how come you don't like go on a self date or whatever? Like, you don't be doing stuff like that. Like, I don't do it. Like, if I don't have somebody to go with, I just don't do it. But today I decided that I'm just going to take myself on a self date because I've been feeling so like rough. Like I'm going to clean up my house. Um, I don't have no dishes to wash or anything. I washed my dishes last night. But I'm just going to sweep and mop. Wipe the counters and everything. Um, I booked a massage in Miami. For one o'clock it's 10 30 right now so i need to make sure i'm out of here by probably like probably 11 30 actually so i have to hurry up and clean up um and do everything that i need to do i think i feel like i want to get a wax um i guess i could do that after maybe i could try to walk into a wax place in miami i don't know i probably might not want to still be out after that massage but yeah y'all that's what i'm going to do today um lance got me a pandora charm i've been begging for pandora charms so he got me one i haven't had a new charm in so long um it's a it's like this one right here hold on it's this one right here it's upside down but it says family on it that's exactly what we are. He's real. And then Wandy got me champagne toast. A champagne toast candle. Um, uh, what you would call it? One of my friends, Nakaya, she don't be on the camera much, but she got me champ Bath and Body Works. She got me champagne toast stuff from Bath and Body Works. Love it. And she got me a candle from there. So I'm so grateful for this. Okay, y'all, I'm done sweeping. I just put a mixture of um, pine salt and bleach in that bucket, and I'm boiling that water so that I can um, mop. But until then, I'm about to chew the pot. I'm gonna um, wipe my counters down. That seasoning cabinet needs to be taken down, okay? Ooh, that's the messiest thing in my house, aside from my closet. Hey, y'all, so um, I just got dressed. I'm wearing this crop top with these blue jeans and this these Tory Burch sandals. This color, I love this color. Hold on, let me show y'all. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm actually on time. Like, I'm on time. I haven't ate, though. I don't know, like, what I'm going to do. 
what I should do. Like, if I should. I think, should, I don't want to drive all the way to Miami to get food. Like, I'm going to just get some snacks that's already in my house. I'm going to eat that to hold me. And then, I'll probably get some food in Miami because there's so many places that I could go to get some food. Y'all, why am I going... Why am I going in my email to try and figure out the address? And then I realized I didn't get an email from them. So I go back to the page and I realized I didn't even complete the booking. And it's, I guess they don't have enough times for today. So I'm going to book it for tomorrow. But I'm still going to take myself on a self-care day because I did need a wax. I don't know if there's any wax places open, but I did need a wax. I do need my toes done. Like, it's bad. Well... I don't know because I have a trip coming up. I don't know if I want to get my toes done now. I'm going to find a cool breakfast spot. So let me try something new. Let me go on TikTok. I can't believe they're trying to ban TikTok. This is literally how I get by in life. I just placed my order, y'all. I got steak with a side of cheesy grits and a mimosa. I got a peach mimosa. It's a Bellini or whatever. I never get steak. I don't even think I ordered. I've ordered a steak before. But... It looks good. Uh, it has chili butter on it, cheese grits, and my mimosa. It looks really good, y'all. Give me a second. You know, my phone gotta eat first. I just left, y'all. That food was good. That steak was good. Everything was good. That mimosa is hitting on some, and I'm not even lightweight. I don't know what they put in there, but I actually dirtied my shirt with the steak sauce trying to cut the steak and then it flicked me so i had these let's see if it's going to take it off or not so these be working though but i don't know if it's going to work for this because this is literally a white shirt and this is like a red sauce like uh. hey y'all so it's the next day i'm very very mad that i didn't bring my camera inside the house last night because this morning i made some breakfast and that breakfast was hit on some dog and i wish i recorded but i'm gonna make it again so i'll record it i basically had um breakfast potatoes eggs and biscuits it was so good y'all but um I was literally like, I'm not going to bring my camera inside because I know first thing tomorrow I'm going to be leaving the house and I don't want to deal with having to bring a camera in, like taking it out, just had to bring it in. But anyway, y'all, it's 12.16. I asked them to push my spa thing to 1.30, so it's pushed back now. I have an hour and 20 minute drive, so yeah. <laughs> I just left so let me give y'all a little overview it was very nice I'm definitely gonna come back I'm thinking I'll come back on Mother's Day take my mom here and I got some friends as mothers too so I'm gonna figure it out but I feel like Mother's Day I'll be back here but I feel like we have to book that early like probably now literally so anyway so y'all my, don't mind my hair I went in the steam room and my hair is crazy right now but first I went in there um I gave my car to valet valet was free for people that staying at the spa so what the freak is that in the air whoa this is like she crazy like what is there's a what you gonna call it y'all see that The 
it's like a crossing guard person i don't know what that is like it's a blow up oh is that an astronaut what is that i don't know what that is y'all but anyway he thought he was gonna cut me off because you ain't spooky so uh, anyway um i got my massage that massage was great it's a great massage it was full body great massage and then after the massage basically i thought i wasn't sure if i was able to go to the other things in the spa because they took me out to pay right after the massage but i asked the lady i was like so um is there something i have to buy to be able to like do all these other things that's here in the spa and she was like did you get a day pass and i was like i don't know so then she was like yeah usually day pass is on groupon or whatever so i was like oh dang i guess i didn't get that oh well she took me to pay and then at the end of me paying she gave me my receipt i was about to walk out and she was like oh hold on you didn't want to stay the day and i was like oh is that included she was like yeah it's included with the massage and i was like okay because that was an expensive massage for it to not be included but i'm just assuming that it's just a good place and they wax but anyway long story short short i get the day pass and then i go in there the spa is very nice i'm going to insert clips it's very nice in there they give you a robe and they give you some shoes and they they'll give you a hairbrush if you need it they'll give you a comb if you need it uh, a shower cap if you need it i didn't ask for one for whatever reason but they'll give you that hold on y'all hello Oh, okay. y'all so my hair is done let me show y'all the finished product it's so cute hold on let me get like better light so i got small medium her small mediums are actually small like actually small like look at this but i've got small medium butt length full boho curls and curly ends and yeah, this is it. I posted a TikTok. It's doing, let me see. It's doing okay. Like, it's doing good for the platform I have. Like, I don't think it's blowing up, but it's cool. But y'all, I just love how my hair literally, literally looks like a wig. Like, there is so much curls in my hair. Like. This is crazy. I started at 6 a.m. And I left at like 8 maybe. So she was standing that entire time. I'm not even saying that to complain of how long I sat down. She was standing the whole time except for like she sat down for like 10 minutes to do my ends like 10 15 minutes while she was braiding my ends so i'm definitely grateful for her and i definitely do not feel like braiders get paid enough for over 12 hours of work i did tip her everybody wants wants to act like they'll quickly spend 400 on a wig for somebody to just ship away to them and i can say this because i sell wigs i do wigs and i'm a braider like People will pay for a $400 wig and then $150 to get the install, that's $550. But $300 braids, that's where you draw the line. 12 hours to do the braids, by the way. I love my hair so much, y'all. I'm basically vacation ready. I'm not even going to put this in the atmosphere, but just know that 
I have a Costa Rica trip coming up and my passport has not came yet, but it's coming. Like it's coming. My trip is literally in six days. It's coming. I'm not going to stress. It's coming. So you guys, um, I actually had just got home from work and I was like getting ready for bed and everything. Um, and I was just like, why don't I just record? So I'm getting ready for bed right now, y'all, but I'm also cooking. Um, I'm making steak and macaroni. This is my first time ever making macaroni, mac and cheese. This is my first time making that meal, so I'm excited. Um, this is my first, this is kind of my first time making steak. I I made a meal with steak before, but um, Lori handled the steak. But I've made other meat like lamb chops and stuff, so I it shouldn't be like too different or whatever. But if anything, I'm gonna just go on TikTok. So yeah, so right now, y'all, I'm actually about to do my skincare routine. I bought some new products today from Target, and I cannot wait to try them. But while I'm doing that. I'm actually going to go season my steak and let it marinate while I do that because I don't be like planning to cook days ahead. Like my family, we like to marinate our food for like a day or longer. Like when you know you're about to cook something, you just marinate everything real quick but and then let it sit. But like I don't be cooking like that because... I'm only cooking for one person, which is myself, and I don't be, it be real last minute with me. Like, I be at work like, I want to make something today, and I do that. So, yeah, but um, my meat was just kind of um, sitting in this vinegar and in um, lime mixture with water to, like, it was sitting in this mixture to what you gonna call it to get clean and everything. So we're gonna do onion powder. We're gonna do paprika, citrus, rosemary, garlic and parsley. Actually, that's too much garlic. And then I'm also adding all-purpose seasoning, black pepper, and yeah, that's going to be everything that I'm adding in. So I'm going to let that marinate while I wash my face. I don't want my face to start burning after this, then I'm going to wonder why my face is burning. Honey, this scrub right here made me feel like I just shed a layer of skin. Y'all, my body was so soft after using it. I literally, I literally just used it. My body was so soft, y'all. I love this exfoliator and I only used it once. I'm gonna do half. I'm gonna do half of each and see where that gets me. And then I'll do the other half if I need it. Today was like, the past couple of days have been so weird for me, y'all. I don't know. They've been so weird for me. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get out of this little funk. I'm not really in a funk. I was in a funk maybe like a week ago though. And I went to the spa and everything. I was in a bit of a funk. Now I'm okay. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Cooking for a whole family is crazy. Like I know that's what I'm going to have to do in the future. But shoot, it's probably not gonna be as crazy when i don't have to go to work and do that because i literally just came from work i worked at 10 a.m today and now i'm literally cooking so 
I'm gonna add some salt to the water, but y'all, what I couldn't find was the um, chicken bouillon seasoning. I'm so sad I could not find that. Another thing that I'm gonna try, don't call me crazy, I'm just gonna try this, whatever, I'm the one eating it. But what I'm gonna try is making my mac and cheese sweet because look y'all, my best friend Kaylee, you guys seen her on this channel about maybe a year, a, a year ago because she is in the navy now so she i haven't seen her in a very long time but nonetheless i have a best friend her name is kaylee love her down and she has a her mom's best friend makes this amazing mac and cheese y'all it is the best mac and cheese i've ever had in my life but i don't want to say the best because it's different it's my favorite mac and cheese but I don't want to say the best. It's just different because it's literally sweet, y'all. I don't know if this is something that Jamaicans do. They are Jamaican, but I don't know. I've spoken to other Jamaicans and they don't know what I'm talking about. But she makes this sweet mac and cheese. It is amazing, y'all. I love it so much. Every time I see her or every time I hear about her, I ask them to ask her to make me some. And she actually makes it. But I haven't, you know, since my best friend is away... Of course, I don't have access to her. I can't even find out the recipe or anything. So that sucks. But I said all that to say that I'm going to try and make that today. Okay, y'all, so for the cheese sauce, I added heavy whipping cream. First, I started with butter, then heavy whipping cream. Then I added all my cheeses. I added half of this, but I realized I didn't grate enough, so I added some like already shredded cheese I had in my fridge, which is good because that cheese was all gonna spoil. So I'm happy I used it. Cause you just want it to be like a cheesy sauce. I'm gonna actually turn down the stove. But then I added um, salt. Um, you're supposed to add chicken bouillon, but I don't have that. Um, onion powder, I'm about to add ground mustard. I'm not gonna add too much of this, but... Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> But I'm going to add that, and then I'm going to add white pepper and some adobo. Yeah. I wanted to pause my music to tell y'all that. Just in case y'all like, dang, she started telling us the ingredients in the beginning and it stopped. Sorry, y'all. I'm really vibing right now. Make sure you're mixing it so nothing, the bottom is not burning. And if the bottom is a little burnt, don't scrape the bottom so your food doesn't taste like burnt pieces for real for real i don't cook with that paprika like everything gotta be spicy everything gotta be a little sweet when it comes to me i'm pour a little bit and then after that layer i'm gonna add some cheese then i'm gonna add another layer y'all know how mac and cheese go this the this the simple part of it well, I honestly, after making mac and cheese for my first time, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It is pretty simple. Like, I'm starting to love cooking, y'all. Like, I cannot believe I'm sitting up here cooking right now. Like, if you knew me, like, it wasn't that I didn't like to cook. I didn't care to cook. That's all it was. It wasn't that I didn't like to. I really didn't care to cook. But now I see that, like, I'm growing up and I'm in my own apartment. Girl, if I don't cook, how am I eat? Like, that's what I'm, like, realizing. Like, girl, you ain't go, you gonna starve in this little apartment. Get into it, honey. Get the freaking to it. Y'all, taste test.
Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Alright y'all, so your girl is about to go to bed. I'ma catch y'all when I catch y'all. <laughs>